All right, y'all. Well, here we are in Sedona at Hyatt Vacation Club Pinion Point. We're going to see if we can dig it while we're staying here for the next couple days. Yeah, I mean, this is already... Look at these canyon views. I mean, we just got here. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what this property has to offer. So let's go check it out. Here we go. All right, now we stayed at the Hyatt Vacation Club Pinion Point in Sedona in May of 2024 to celebrate our 15 year anniversary. And while this is a vacation club property where you can be a member and book with points, it's also something you can book like a regular hotel. Now this is in what's considered Uptown Sedona. Here it is right on the map, but it's a great location that's surrounded by lots of eateries and shops and everything is very walkable. Now, this is the lobby where you check in, nothing special. This is also the place where you go if you're here for a sales presentation to join the vacation club. But to note here, we're gonna show you our room today, but there's a sign that says in late 24 and early 25, they will be doing room renovation. So while we're gonna show you the room today, it will look different as of next year. Now, before we check out the rest of the property, I'm going to point out this little seating area to the right of the lobby check-in here. This look like the doors to the sales presentation area, so I'm sure this is where people sit before and after those presentations. Now, let's flip over to the pool and recreation area. So there's a ping pong table here along with two tables and four chairs each and two grills that you can use while you're at the property and they look over the pool and the red rocks. What a beautiful view to have while you're grilling and hanging out. Now let's go over and check out the pool area. Now the really awesome thing about this area, of course, besides the view, I mean, look at the red rocks and canyons out there. Aside from the view, the way that this is laid out is really interesting because there's a couple different areas of pool. There's not just one big pool. There's a main pool area, but then there's also what seems to be a little maybe splash pool for kids. There's two different hot tubs, so there's plenty of room to spread out. You don't have to be on top of each other. I am assuming it gets really busy here in the summer months. I mean, look at those views. I would sit up here all day and soak those in. Here's one of the hot tubs that just looks so relaxing and look at the views while you're sitting in the hot tub. Just beautiful. More great seating areas out here. Lots of tables and chairs and this fire pit here for those chilly nights like when we were there. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be just so awesome to sit out there and see that view. And right over here in the corner is a second hot tub. Now this is where the fitness and business centers are. We did not go into the fitness center because there were people working out currently while we were filming. So we did not want to film anyone working out. They do have business and fitness centers. Now we're gonna take you to show you our building and our room. Now our unit we stayed in was towards the back of the property. We were in building 21 and our unit was 23. Now they have a couple different types of rooms here. They have a two bedroom villa, a one bedroom villa, and a studio. Now if you take the studio and the one bedroom villa, that actually gives you the two bedroom villa. So you're gonna see our unit was 2123B. That's the one bedroom villa part of this unit, while the studio is technically 2123A and someone else was staying in that unit. With that, let's check out the one bedroom villa unit we were in. As soon as you walk in, you can see it's a spacious living area with a dining table that seats at least four, maybe even five or six, and it comes with a fully equipped kitchen. One of the great amenities about these units is that they come with full size washer and dryers. We know how beneficial that can be on a long trip.
Now, when they say a fully equipped kitchen, they really do mean it. First of all, they have basically brand new appliances in this unit that we're in. They had a full-size fridge here with the fridge and freezer. They had everything that you needed, all of the glassware, all of the plates, utensils, everything you needed to have a meal or cook a meal as well. The appliances looked, like I said, brand new, barely even used. They had pots, pans. They also had a dishwasher, so you didn't have to do the dishes. And they even had a toaster. Another great amenity this property offers is their service. We told them we were coming to celebrate our 15 year anniversary. They left this awesome little note, so cute. And they not only left us a bottle of local wine, but they gave us another bottle when we checked in and it was a really nice gesture. Now right past the kitchen and dining area is the living space and it comes with a fireplace. This was such an amenity I was looking forward to. We don't have a fireplace here in Florida. We have a little electric one, but not a fireplace like this. And with the temperature at night, it was absolutely perfect. The living area is very spacious. It comes with a sleeper sofa and two additional chairs. And the patio is another draw to this property of the reason why we picked it. Look at some of these views from your patio. I mean, you can see the red rocks, the canyons. Every unit has different views, but we were lucky enough to get one with some views on the side here and they were awesome. Also really love just the size of the patio and that it comes with a table and four chairs. Usually a patio or balcony is a really little tiny space in these places. So I'm so glad it was spacious and we had views from all sides. All right, now let's show you the rest of the one bedroom villa, the primary bedroom with king bed, connecting bath and a walk-in shower and jetted tub. This bathroom that's connected to the bedroom is very spacious. It's a double vanity sink, so it's got two sinks, two mirrors, plenty of room for when you're getting ready. This bathroom has a spacious walk-in shower decorated with Southwest style tile as the rest of the unit is, and it also has a bench seat, which is nice for relaxing after a long day. And they have Gilcrest and Soames product ready for you to use in the shower. The villas also come with a jetted spa tub, which I did use and it was awesome. I did Lysol it before I used it, which we do in every hotel room, but I used it and two thumbs up. And this is the bedroom area with your standard king bed, which was quite comfortable. And it comes with two nightstands, a seat at the end of the bed and a 27 inch TV here in the room. Now the bedroom also has its own door to the patio, so it has its own private entrance and exit to the patio and you don't have to walk through the main living area to get outside if you're in the bedroom. Also to note, there's an additional closet up front near the door if you need extra closet space. There's also an extra trash can and a very old school vacuum in here <laughs> and a broom as well should you need it. 
This door on the right is the studio portion of the villa, so if you had this booked as well, you would then have a two-bedroom villa. And this is the closet in the main bedroom, also very spacious and comes with a luggage rack, ironing board, and an iron. All right, that was our tour of the one bedroom villa here at Hyatt Vacation Club Pinion Point in Sedona. We're gonna enjoy this fire for a few more minutes, then we're gonna sit on the patio and give you our final thoughts and review on if we can dig it. All right, that's our time at the Hyatt Vacation Club Pinion Point right here in downtown Sedona. Or actually, it's called Uptown Sedona, actually. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> and let me tell found you that right. little interesting fact. Now, there's an Uptown, there's a Downtown, and a West Sedona. Yes, and let me tell you right now, the location of this property is top notch you are right in the center of everything walkable two sides of the street miles long of shops restaurants wineries you name it they got it such a quaint quiet little town and they're a low light town so when you're out at night you can see the stars and i mean the location 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 of this place is just the best yeah i know a lot of people have said you know sedona i've heard a lot about sedona but it's really one of those experiences so you really get out here yeah. and really feel it and experience it and walk it at night and just see how pitch black it is and you can see every star. Uh, we're surrounded by these canyons right outside of our room all around us. All you see is the red rocks. I mean, it really is magical. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about a magical spot, if you haven't been here, y'all need to do yourself a favor. Take a trip out here to Sedona. Yeah. It is absolutely worth it. And this property was worth every dime we paid. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, they've got a lot of spas and resorts mm -hmm. here. No matter where you stay in this uptown area, everything is walkable. But let me tell you right now, this property, we can dig it 10 out of 10. Let's talk about the room for a second. Yeah. First of all, we got one of the one bedroom uh, villas here. And first of all, we've got a fireplace. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the fireplace. First of all, it's chilly here right yeah, now. Definitely. It's the first week in May. The nights were like 50s, 40s. Having that fireplace was awesome. And yeah. being from Florida, it was just a <laughs> nice touch. We don't have a lot of fire. We don't have a fireplace. Yeah, so we exactly. have an electric fireplace. But well, it's nice to be able to open all the sliding glass doors, the windows, have the fireplace yes. going, have the cool weather, look outside your door see the canyons all around you it really again just a spectacular location and what yeah. a fantastic room yeah and so then they've got a great outside patio which we're sitting mm -hmm. on right now yep. it's a huge patio as you see in the video enough for a round table that seats four you can have breakfast dinner lunch sit out here i sat out here red yesterday it was so relaxing and yeah. serene yep. they also have a huge soaking tub which is awesome with jets and honestly that was very nice after a long day at the yeah. grand canyon that felt really <laughs> yeah, good definitely. uh king bed full-size kitchen table a kitchen Kitchenette, washer and dryer, which you don't get in a, a, any of these resorts right, around here. So right. we were able to wash a few things before we went home. So I can tell you right now, this property is, we will stay here again. Yeah, this definitely. will be probably our first choice. Again, they've got a lot of spas and a lot of great other resorts mm -hmm. here, but you know what? Hyatt Vacation Club Pinion Point, we can dig top yeah. notch. And the service, like yeah. you said, I mean, honestly, we got here, we told them it was our 15 year anniversary. They gave us two $30 bottles yeah. of wine from a local vineyard. Everything's local here too. They really want to support the local communities. We went to the spa yep. at Amara Resort, also a top experience. They were using products by local businesses, yeah, which definitely. is, I love that. Yeah, they're really all about local, organic, mm -hmm. home growing, uh, the restaurants from everything to where we went last night at Lote, just everything fresh, really local feel. I mean, yeah. it's really great. There's nothing. There's no commercialized restaurants out here. No. Everything is just really kind of farm to table, if yes. you will. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just top notch in this property really is just so centrally located. It makes it so convenient. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, there's not, I mean, I can go on and on and on and keep talking about it, but it was definitely worth the money we paid. And I would say if y'all get a chance to come out to Sedona, check out this property. Yes. So we can dig it. If you can dig this video, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. But from Sedona, we're out. Time to get back home to Tampa. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.